Okay, hi there, I'm Eric. Um, this is my Survivor Micronesia Tribal Council fonts. I don't know if you guys can see that font too well on there, um, but this is my little PowerPoint presentation. Um, I had a friend who is in the comments, I will comment underneath this video in the description, who said, hey, I wanna know about all the different fonts that you wrote at Tribal Councils in your time on Survivor. So I'm gonna go over Survivor Micronesia, which is season 16, fans versus favorites. And I'm going to go over with my whiteboard. I'm going to recreate those fonts because some of these screenshots are fuzzy and hard to tell, hard to see. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. Um, Mary was the first font. Uh, Mary was the first, the first vote, I should say, that I wrote with a font. Um, it, you can't even see it. You can't even see it on there. It's so small. Let me take this off. So... This was my very first vote. It was for Mary. It's very um, cursive-y. You can't really see it at all. Um, the first votes that I had, I didn't do my own style of font. Um, I'm a, Currently, I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator, and I draw comics, and I make comic books. So I wanted to do that when I was on Survivor. I wanted to just make cool graphic fonts um, for my votes. So... This one is not, and it was because I was nervous. I didn't want um, anybody to know how I voted. So that's probably what I created, something like that. Just like a cursive like, just throw Mary on a card. Because I didn't want people to know that it was me that voted that way. Um, and I did that for the next one, too. Let me see. Mikey B. So Mikey B was the first one that I did. This is basically my handwriting at the time, um, if you can see that. Um, there's Mikey B. You know, it's so weird that I did this for these first couple because I was super nervous. I was super anxious. This is just my comic font. Mikey. Like, that, that's what that was. That's the Mikey B font that I used. And that's just my handwriting. That's just how I write um, without doing any art artistry or anything like that. Um, after I think this vote, I started to actually get creative. So this is, I believe this was at the swap where I went over to Malakal. Um, and this was my first, this was a vote for Chet. And this was after I think, there's a lot of stuff going on, but this was my vote for Chet at the time. And this is like a bubble letter, but it's combined. Um, so you can see the C, the H, the E, the T, they all kind of blend together. So let me see what that would look like. So Chet... A lot of people have asked me, like, you know, this is kind of troublesome to write out a font out of tribal council vote that everybody's going to know if you're an artist that you can do this, that you can make these um, fonts, that you can draw like this and do this. Like, why would you do that? Why would you open yourself up to that in terms of letting people know? Um, and I think that kind of played into my overall strategy of the more I started to play Survivor and learn about it from, from the favorites and other people. Um, I wanted people to know how I voted. I wanted people to know, on top of wanting to actually draw these things um, myself, because I'm an artist, um, I wanted people to know how I voted because I wanted them to feel safe with me. I want You want predictability in your allies. So that's one of the reasons I ch made the decision, you know, yeah, I can, you know, hand draw some cool fonts for my tribal council votes. Um, so it was kind of like a beneficial, it was like a win-win in my eye. Um, I seem like somebody that you would want to work with on Survivor and plus I get to show off my artwork because I love to draw and I love to make cool fonts and nobody really did too many crazy fonts on Survivor before. So this one's for Chet. And this one I'll call, uh, I guess, Chrome, Chet Chrome. And so this one kind of had a like, I don't know, a little, little bit of detailing around it, like a little bit of block serifs going on um, for chat. That was my second chat vote. I think there's a third chat vote, which is the next one. Let me see if you guys can see that on there. Looking pretty raggedy in these pictures throughout. Oh, poor chat. Every other day it's a chat vote. Okay, so that was it for chat votes. Then we have a Tracy vote. So this Tracy vote's like rough, rough text. Let me erase this Mary one. Let me 
look at this one, Tracy. So this is like my handwriting, but little savage. And this was a while ago. This was maybe like 12, this is now like 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago going on when, you know, I wrote these votes. So this is Tracy. And the other thing too that I've noticed is like, um, I didn't want to spend a lot of time up at tribal council voting, like up at the booth, because people are waiting. Like, you know, you're at tribal council for some amount of time and, you know, with Jeff Probst and everybody, like, get, get on with it. Write your vote, do what you need to do and get out of there. So, you know, I wanted to do more the first time around, especially, but I was nervous that, you know, there's so many social etiquette rules in Survivor. I didn't want to put anybody off by like taking forever to write someone's name down that we're potentially going to vote off or not. So this font I love, this is Amy's vote, and I was really nervous at this vote because I thought I was gonna go home. And so I used one of my favorite fonts that I, I used at the time at the ice cream shop in hell, which I call Gates of Hell font. And it's like this iron gate embellished font. So that's the Amy vote, and it's like it has these double let these double lines on some. Uh, the idea is to mimic like an iron gate because in Hell, Michigan, there's this nice big iron gate um, that says Gates of Hell on it. I don't know if it's still there anymore because it's been so long, but that was the Amy vote, and I actually used that font again later on. Um, oh, it's the merge. So at this time, I wanted to just um, plug my comic book. So I'm working on. I've published this comic book um, with Crude Comics, Inc. It's called Seed of Sam. If you guys like my art and if you like my channel and you like what I do, think about getting a comic book. There's issues one and two out now on crudecomicsinc.com. Um, and the comic follows basically sperm trying to impregnate an egg. It's a really weird story about sperm going through, the, the, through a woman's body to find the egg and all that in, that entails. It's a lowbrow, crude, ridiculous comic, and there's a lot of fun fonts in it. It's actually kind of like what I'm doing right now. Um, so I just wanted to share that. So merge happens. I believe these are in order. It's been a while. Um, this is my first vote for Jason. So, oh, Jason Siska vote. Let's see if we can get that on there. So this one was really fun. I obviously took more time with it. I felt more comfortable drawing this one. Um, and this font was kind of like the uh, PSA, the more you know, like if you've ever seen that star wipe where it says the more you know, and there's a star flying through space. That's what this font was envisioning. It's like a bubble font, 3D, let me draw it here. And it has a little star ball in the middle of it. And this one took longer and every, and you know, this was the, this was like one of the first votes after the merge. Um, i trying to remember if I ever voted for Eliza, because I didn't see an Eliza vote in here. I don't think I did, but I cannot remember. It's been so long. Feel free, uh, feel free to post a link to the Survivor Wiki with that information um, to refresh my memory. And I'll check it out on there later. But this is the Jason vote, basically. A nice star star ball with some like rainbow lettering like Jason shifting across this is my second Jason vote so this is the next one I must have missed a vote in here because I don't this might not be all of them but this is my graffiti font graffiti bubble letter Jason with um and I believe this is the one where he went home I think this was around the time of my birthday so I do think that there's there's a mixed um, tribal council in here. Let me draw Jason's number two. So this is more more of an angular font. I mean, by this time, everybody knew, you know, Eric draws these crazy fonts. So we can count on, we can understand and count on, you know, what he's going to be, how he's going to be voting based on what we see. Let's see here, Jason, a nice angles. Angled letters. And you can see this is this is how long it takes at Tribal Council. Like how long you're seeing me like look down at this board. That's how long it would take 
to draw these different um, fonts on there. Almost done. You know, it took some people this amount of time to deliberate. I usually knew going up to tribal council, like walking up to the voting booth, who I was voting for. I there was more deliberation over like what kind of font to draw for the for the person. So this is the Jason. I call it graffiti font. And if you want, you can add you know some shading on each letter to help make it stand out more. I didn't do that. Mine's more simple that I actually sent to the vote, but you can you can add more. I can add more later. Here's Amanda. Amanda's like a really confusing one. This one is, um, this is like a big blocky, like jumbly one. It's like a mix between chrome chet and like bubble lettering. Um, and this one was pretty, this one was a little hairy to make this vote because we really didn't know if Amanda had an idol or not. And so you can kind of see this style is like, I wasn't really focused on the style so much this time around as I was, you know, what was going on actually at Tribal Council. My head was actually like in the game instead of like paying attention to what, you know, currying I put on the lettering or whatever. Amanda. Big D. And an A. So that's basically Amanda's font right there. You know, it's not, it's not nothing, nothing special. It's just like a bubble font, bubble lettering. <sighs> she didn't go home. Alexis went home that one. And then this is the last one. This is the one that I think I love this one the most. Um, this is the poverty vote. And this is the only, as far as I know, the only vertical vote. Um, I think if I wrote out her entire name, it wouldn't have fit. Um, you know, I love I love that I was able to do this one without, you know, prior to getting voted off. I thought at the time, I thought, too, if this doesn't work, I'm going home. This was the one where the, the most I had the most fear about if me giving up immunity and all this stuff going down doesn't work out. I'm going home. This was the one where I thought that, which obviously, you know, spoiler alert, <laughs> that's what occurred. Um, but this is a pretty simple bubble letter with a little bit of shadow on it. Let me see if I can get that in there. Parv. Every time I think of, I hear Par Parvati's name, I think of when Jason Siska first called her poverty at the, one of the challenges. The challenge actually where Jonathan Penner got, had injured his leg. Um, I will always remember that, that he called her po poverty and she was so mad at him about that. So this is the vertical par vote, like that, you know, straight up and down. Um, the one thing I did want to mention too is that had, I really wanted to do a knockout letter vote, and I actually didn't end up doing that on Caramoan, which I'll, I'll do another video for Caramoan um, with all the different fonts from that season as well. And I'll try and figure out a better way to show it, because this isn't the best way to show, show some of these fonts. Um, but I did want to do what's called knockout lettering. Let me see if I can do this. So if that's your vote, like that's your slip of paper, I wanted to do, like, say I'm voting for myself here. You draw your name, like bubble letters, and then you just do this, color every single space outside of the bubbles. So essentially you'd have a piece of vote parchment paper covered in black ink. You'd kill the vote marker like this. So this is my dream one day. And you know, if someone else is on Survivor and they're gonna go on Survivor and they see this, go for it. Please do this. Please do knockout, knockout lettering for a vote. So when the vote would be presented, it would say the person's name, but the ink is all, you know, this. Hopefully I made myself clear and it's not too confusing in terms of that. Yeah, there's another Amanda vote. So there was another Amanda vote. These are way out of order. So the other Amanda vote was in um, Hell, Michigan font, Gates of Hell font, similar to Amy's. So at some point in time I had voted for Amanda. These are way out of order. 
please, please correct me in the comments. So, Amanda, this is the last one. Same kind of A as Amy's. Let's see here. Same little hooks. Different M. This is like the quintessential hell font. I really hope that some of my signs are still up in hell with this font because it's just a wonderful, like, every time I see this font, I think of ice cream in summertime in Michigan. So that's the Amanda with Hell Michigan font going on there. And you typically you light it on fire. Draw little flames. There, her name's on fire burning forever like that. Cool. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I'll go into more later. Um, I just want to say if you guys like my art, I have prints and stuff on, oh my gosh, there we go. Dabudoodles.com. That's my website. I sell prints. I do custom art for people. Um, try to get more into Dungeons and Dragons type of stuff and other kind of commissions, but still doing Survivor Comics. Um, I will be doing Survivor Comics this fall um, for season 41. Um, but look forward, look for video two. That's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out um, all the Karamoan votes and try and get a better presentation, like I said, because this is, you can't really see it on the screen here. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to hit stop. Yes.